Ah, uh, yes, the arcade stick. The one device that provides us with the ability to transport back in time to the nostalgic filled airlers of arcades draining our parents' pockets for quarters at a time, sometimes having them put excess of $10 into the change machine and to the sound of rattling change hitting it all. Now we stand as adults with the ability to build arcade sticks that God himself would have used to wage war against the devil. Join me in my 8-bit do arcade stick modification right now as Ilsun 4K takes this thing apart and does questionable performance upgrades. Thanks for checking it out. Okay, let's take a look at what we got over here. These should be, the, well this should be. Ah, uh, yes. The Sanwa, uh, I forget which one it is. It's a really nice one though, wow, look at that. Look at that, that's very nice. The right mounting plates, I assume. We'll find out. I, sit, I remember you have to make some sort of modification. Oh, this feels great. Wow, listen to that click. Listen to that click versus this, which we're about to modify. Oh, that just it just feels so different to do it at the same time. All right, so moving onward to the impossible mod controller. Well, we're creating a really good mess around here. Look at that. That's great, though. That's a solid piece right there. I like that. I like that. All right, cool. We got the ball that goes on top. You can get whatever one of these you want. I got the black one because I like it for my 8-bit do stick. And these are the new buttons. Shout out to uh, Santa Juan for the, for the packaging. They're doing great. Holy shit. Hang on. Use my fucking key. I'm sure if I don't break any of this shit. Here we go. Alright, so we got... It might be the same as the ones in there. I don't know. But I wanted this because it has the black ring on it. So this is the screwdriver set that will make the impossible to mod controller a lot more easier to mod. Simple $25, $26 PC part building uh, screwdriver set off Amazon, link below, you'll see it. After that we take this and we put on the appropriate torque screw head and we unscrew the six bolt holes that are there very easily. Just stick the little thing in there and get it on out if you know what I mean. Okay, and now the top half, three simple holes. And don't pull it too hard, you'll hit that cord. Speaking of which, we'll talk about that in the next part of the video, right here. Make sure you disconnect the power cord, always safety first, disconnect it. And now what you're gonna do is, you're going to take that and move it out of the way. More space to work is always better. Remember that, folks. As you can tell by my extremely cluttered work area. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your uh, mini screwdriver and throw on a regular Phillips head star bit, if that's what you want to call it. And you want to take the, uh, the wires, get them out of the way, make sure nothing's in the way because you're going to be twisting your arm and a good little twist up will do some damage. So again, you want to take out all four screws. You'll see there's one there. A little bit of a technical difficulty. There's a second one. Taking out the first one that I couldn't get out before. And lastly, there's one down there. And there's actually a fourth screw as well, but it's already been taken out. My camera was giving me trouble and it was recording. I thought it was recording when it wasn't. Make sure you take out this lower ball piece. To do that, you take a flathead screwdriver and you put it into the, the flathead screw hole right there. And you give it a quick little twist like that. There you go. Once you see it start twisting, that means things are loose at the bottom, which is great. So you start twisting off the bottom like that, get it all off, make sure it's all good. Very nice. And now you take out the joystick. Next up, we're gonna take care of the buttons. As you can see, if you look in this video, there's a little clip off to the side right there. You wanna push that clip in with your finger and kind of push it down like that. Yeah, that's, that's more or less what you wanna do. Push it on down like that. And then on the other side, you wanna do the same thing and pop it on out. And as you can see, it pops out right on the other side. No problems, no worries. This is where the little gets a little tricky. 
These come off the back right here, as you can see, and you want to wiggle them off. And they're kind of on there from the factory a little bit. I didn't feel it was possible to break them. It was just a lot of struggle to get them off. You want to, like I said, hold them with your fingers or maybe a pair of pliers and just wiggle them up and down like you see me doing very gently. And eventually they come off just kind of out of nowhere like that. It's all good. Job's well done. Now let's compare the buttons real quick. The new Sanwas versus the stock ones is night and day difference. The stock ones are very nice, but the Sanwas are clearly more pro-built. The travel distance between the button clicking, the way the button backs up, the way there's no mush to it, it's a very solid feeling again. The Sanwa was definitely a wise investment here. I couldn't go wrong. That's good, guys. Just want to show you the difference in the two. This is the stock joystick or the factory joystick that comes with the 8-bit do controller. As you can see, it's you know it's a, it's, it's a relatively nice joystick. It really doesn't have any issues. It didn't need to be upgraded unless you're into that. It's a little bit on the loose side. Has some clicks and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's again, it's something. Um, we're going to talk about using the harness from this to work on this. As you'll see, we have it over there in the corner. This, however, is the new Sanwa. I hope I'm saying that right. Sanwa controller stick. And this thing is awesome. Um, compared to this, just clicking at the same direction is um, a night and day difference. Like this is such a more solid click. So, so much, so much quicker ba bounce back. The spring in there, the return spring is no joke. This is also an adjustable piece. And again, as you can see, this is a much smaller piece than this overall. Um, it really is. Again, they have different inputs and we're gonna go over that next in the next video. But I just wanna show you guys how different this really is. Now to put this back in is the same way it came out. And I'll do a quick video on that right now. But again, this is the Sanwa and this is the factory. Again, this piece is nice, but this piece is clearly much nicer. If you had them in your hands, you could tell. Um, I can't explain it any other way. But again, guys, Sanwa, stock piece, really nice. This is much nicer. Okay, so here's the factory harness. My video stopped recording. So what you want to do is you want to cut all the wires that were on the factory joystick off and leave yourself so that way the port is facing you like this. Make sure the clip is facing you that would slide in and tie off the three wires to the left and keep the five wires to the right open. This is how you maintain the factory harness and work with the Sanwa adapter piece that comes and plugs into the new joystick that you got. Now make sure you trim that down, this one right here, that's way too much cord, and we'll go over why. See, I cut it down, that's around 5 inches, a little shorter than a dollar bill. I like to take my scissors and use them as a wire stripper. If you take the scissor end like that and put it up against the wire and pull it, boom, it turns into a wire stripper. You could also use a knife or a razor or, you know, a wire stripper if you have one. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the 5 wires that you have now plugged in over there, after you plug in the controller input like this to the Sanwa that came with it, and you're gonna follow directions here because this is how we use the harness and how it all works. So firstly, make sure you take the first wire right there, rig it up, grab yourself the red wire, and tie it on into that. As you can see, nothing fancy, just twisted and turned over. You're gonna wanna put electrical tape on all this when it's all said and done. Next up, we have the second wire. Second wire connects to, I believe, the oh, orange wire. Yes, it is the orange wire. The orange wire gets wired up next. These are your up, down, left, right movements, by the way. The, the Sanwa joystick has a different wiring configuration than the stock one, and that's why the stock one has extra wires. Uh, there is no difference. There is no benefit. It's just how it goes. So now you want to take that third wire and connect it to the yellow one. After you connect the yellow one, make sure you spin it on up like that, just like you have the others. Don't screw this up, because you'll have your up mean down and left mean down. From there, take your fourth wire. You're going to want to rig it on up to the green wire, like so. There are other ways to rig this controller up, but this is the poor man's way. This is the I don't need to worry about it. It's not half as bad as the other guys on YouTube made it sound like it was going to be way. Good lord. Lastly, you want to take that last one and connect it to the black wire. The black wire is your ground. The others are, like I said, are your up, down, left, right. The ground is what you want to do next. And wire that on up like that. Tuck that off to the side right there. 
take these wires and you want to put electrical tape around the ends of them. Make sure the power supply is connected. And we put it back on top. And boom. That's pretty much it. Straightforward affair. No fancy stuff? Make sure you have electrical tape. And that's it. That's my modded joystick right there. I love this thing to death. Some people say it's a little small for a joystick. For me, it's the perfect size. I'm 6'2". The new, the new joystick feels great. The buttons? Oh man, the buttons are like a night and day difference. The whole thing controls like a dream now. It feels really, really more of a high-end type of affair. I can't complain. And again, that, that joystick just handles like a dream. What's good, guys? It's Ilsun 4K! And thanks for joining me on the questionable modification of this arcade stick that did not need to be touched, but I can't leave things alone, so here we are today. Anyway, if you like this, make sure to like and subscribe, comment below to make fun of how I did this, and also make sure to catch me at twitch.tv backslash illsun4k, where you can find me streaming anything from the latest AAA titles to retro titles and indie titles. I like to play a lot of variation there, so make sure you check it out. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, it's illsun4k.